Guys, I'm so excited. I'm going to my first gala in the longest. So the International African American Museum in Charleston is opening in a few days and I've been invited to the gala. The gala um, is taking place at the Charleston Place on Friday, which today is Friday. Is it? Here are my kiddos. And I am going with my work colleagues. So yeah, Taylor helped me with putting some extra razzle dazzle in my hair. Of course. <laughs> And so I'm about to leave now to head there and then we'll show Come you guys on, all of the different Don't activities that are happening over on. the weekend. Um, so yeah, let's go for this ride. By the way, welcome Mom, back to dog. Making It With The Matthews. Taylor, go grab him. Music Anyways, come. guys, go I gotta go and these kiddos are keeping me hostage. So let's go. Away. Hey guys, I'm headed to the gala and I'm so excited. By the way, I met someone super famous today, a legend, and I can't wait to share who it was. Just so amazing. You can bank on it, you can put a hundred grand on it, anything I said I stamp on it. In a private plane, I lamp on it. Lele, oh, then they call me bank on it. Cause I walk around with the bank on him Show them Gangnam style, put the gang on him Twist my fingers up on the bang on him Let it go, let it go, yeah Tobalo no ko macho Tobalo no ko macho Nobody no too much Hey guys, I am checking in. It is very loud in here, but it is it. Hi! It's very loud in here, but we're waiting to go in. And it's also super hot. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot, you guys. So hot. We're table 20 and we're going in, you guys. Oh, this is so beautiful, you guys. And if a boy feel macho, make him look red like a tomato. If him not dead, then he call matos. No, go for about the institution of slavery. Yeah. Yeah. And on behalf of our CEO and the Board of Directors, we have so much to show you and tell you tonight. Because of the suffering felt by millions of our ancestors, tonight we proudly present a gift to the world. Faces in moments of peril and progress 
It will tell the names of our ancestors who arrived in chains. So much of the dreams and aspirations of my parents and grandparents. And then I thought, I was going up because if Miss Emily was the first, my wife would be the second. Okay. And then, okay? But it's not about me today, it's about us. Okay, actually, y'all, if you played any role in the International African American Museum coming to fruition, you can woosah a little bit right now. All right, we are here finally. The grand opening of the IAAM is upon us. We can clap it up for that. I want to thank everyone who more than 560 strong tonight. We have some cheers. Some of y'all got a lot of people that go pay. Uh, so it, it's a little bit more than that. I also want to thank the members of the IAM staff and team, some of whom are taking a nap right now, some of whom are seated among you. Let us give them a round of applause. <laughs> So many of you have been on this journey for a very long time, and you know that the mission of the International African American Museum is to honor the untold story of the African American journey. And served out of a 90 second microwave of pouch. Don't judge me. <laughs> See, I thought I had no relationship to this space or to this food. And then one day, some very, very good people offered me some okra soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all know. <laughs> Asked if I had ever had it, I said no. But when it came to the table, I paused, and the matriarch saw me looking at it, and she said, your mama calls it gumbo, doesn't she? <laughs> and I nodded my head, yes. My family's recipe for gumbo is okra based and then I realized I was inside of this story that I didn't understand as well as I thought that I did, but I understood it far more than I ever knew. The International African American Museum is coming online at a time when the necessity of telling these stories is being challenged. When the power in knowing where and how and when and why these stories are told is really, really important. And we seem to be pushing that back. There have been times when simply telling an African American story was an act of rebellion. There have been times when simply telling an African American story was an act of resistance. And with all the pushback, all the manipulation, all the silencing, all the attempt to ban these stories, once again, you might think that these are those times again. But I disagree. At this time, at this now, telling these stories is not an act of rebellion. It is not an act of resistance. It is an act of reconciliation. And that is why it is more dangerous than ever. Welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I didn't come back with you guys because by the time we left the gala, it was like 11 o'clock. Was it? Yeah, it was 11 o'clock and I got home like 11.30 and I went straight to sleep. But the gala was everything and more. Like it was just so amazing. And um, then today we are going to Marion Square to continue the celebration. They had a grand opening at the museum this morning that featured Felicia Rashad, all of those people. And now we're going to Marion Square to do the other part of the celebration. It's a community event, so we want to get all the community together. So we're heading there, but I'm waiting for my colleague um, right now, Shakira. And so she's staying at this hotel and my hair has all this fuzz in it. Anyways, 
So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting here waiting on her and enjoying uh, coffee from Dead Kid. No matter how far, don't worry, baby. I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry. Cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. I'm from Charleston and she's from Charlotte. I'm not from Charleston, actually. I'm not from Charlotte. I'm, I'm, I'm what they call a Kamya. He's a Binya. It means that they've been here, and if you just moved here, you're a come Oh. So yeah, I learned that a few weeks ago. Uh, We're pulling up to Marion Square, you guys. Aren't you? Oh, yeah. People like laid out. Oh, this looks so good. I'm about to get something from Starbucks because Kira needs her coffee fix. I'm gonna get not a coffee, but. <laughs> Yeah. How do we get into VIP? <laughs> Sam, big money. Okay. <laughs> and she represents Barbados Barbados. Food and Rum Festival. All right, tell us about it. Our Barbados Food and Rum Festival usually happens every year. So this year is happening from the 19th to the 22nd. So it's going to be four events, four or four days of eight events, that is. So there's going to be community pop-ups. There's going to be the rum route. It's going to be rum route. It's basically a bus tour from a different distilleries. You get to sample our rum. So you know Barbados is the birthplace of rum. After that, you get to learn about our history. So you're also going to be the Bajan Fair, which is a new event, actually. That one is for the kids. You don't want to leave out the kids. Oh, I have a 12-year-old. Of course, you want them to eat. You want them to drink. You all go around on the rides as well. And then there's oysters under the stars. So anytime anybody comes to Barbados, they have to go to oysters. Oysters is our fish fry. So you get to mingle with the locals, eat fresh food, eat fresh fish. And if you know Amberelle from Food Network, she's going to be there as well. Yes. And then there's the Chef Classics, where the international chefs are going to have a cooking demo. Basically cooking one of their dishes to get to try it as well. I mean, where else can you do that? Where else can you see an international chef and taste some of their food? Exactly. And then there's the Rice and Rum Breakfast Party, one of my favorites. At 4 a.m., we're getting up, we're dressing up, we're drinking, we're eating food, we're partying. And then we're going to dress up to the nines. So our liquid gold piece is like a gala. It's going to be nice. You're going to see all the Barbadian chefs, all the big oh, yeah. It's all inclusive. You get to eat, yeah. right? And that's all. Like, so, November, sorry, October, sorry, 19th to 22nd. Barbados we are in Festival. Barbados, people. Join us. Friend. She's on her way to Barbados. Yeah, that's where I'm leaving it. And who's in October, you guys? Barbados. Get ready for me to the Matthews over there. <laughs> Let's party and tell it to. Wait, and whose house are you gonna check on? Uh, Rihanna. Exactly. That's right. <laughs> Get back to the show, get back to the show. Like I said before, my name is DJ Spirit right here from Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, the no, US State so Department. gorgeous. Thank you. These two are so fab.
y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you share. Make sure you like. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Go on the channel with us, Matthew Family. Right now, BB is about this to is go cool. Stage, you guys, yeah. Yeah. hey, let's just have some church.
yeah. And so I'm not surprised it worked out as well. The long is working, which yeah. also, I tell you that, but. Everybody got the same look down here. That's it. <laughs> but it works. How do you like the bike taxi, my love? Oh, it's great. You see that they actually are riding. Yeah, I always thought it would give you guys a little more, but I heard it's illegal to do that. just talking we got to the car the Obamas are in town staying at Charleston place and we just asked the, the security guard and she was like I don't know what you're talking she was about like, and she smiled I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> but it would make sense because this museum opening is a big deal to Travis's point I am hot turn the AC on guys it's a big deal it's so in this vlog guys Tomorrow you're going to see that we have a special preview. We were invited um, to a special preview tomorrow, which is Sunday the 25th. And we're going to actually view the entire museum and pay homage to our ancestors that came before us. So we'll take you guys along with us. I know when I viewed it in March, they took our phones and we had that little phone bag that you can't open. So I'm not sure if it's going to be the same thing. So if it's the same thing, then I'm sorry, you can't see it. If I can show you something, I will. Are you being a good boy? Amen. Happy Sunday. So I'm here with the entire family of Travis and Taylor, and we are headed to <laughs> somebody is salty because their dog is at home. So she is trying to correct me that the entire family isn't here. The entire human family is here, okay? <laughs> no, he's not. Anyways, you guys, so we are heading out on a Sunday. We're running late. We have a 1030 um, reservation to view the museum and it is now 1015. So let's hope we can make it downtown in 15 or 20 minutes, give or take. Here you guys, we are so, so excited. This is Taylor's first time seeing it because Daddy and I saw it in March. Then veer left, where you start with the transit learning experience, bring it all the way around when you come to the rest of the listed exhibits. Go to the room here. You can then go on to the side of the building for American Journeys that starts at the 1500s. 
bring you all the way around to current day, where we also have a genealogy experience and also a mental honor experience. It's a special thing to do. So, this is a self paced, self guided tour. So, please enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Kim. Have a good time. Guys, so they do suggest starting with the transatlantic experience. So we are telling you when you walk in, you start this way, go left, go around to the American exhibits. And there are quiet rooms for those who need a moment to themselves. So There's also a theater, you guys, and Taylor is going in to watch Seeking, a mapping of Gullah Geechee's story. Long ago, we promised ourselves to keep remembering, even when the stories were sad, we can't let the stories be lost. Instead of grandma to tell as long as you own land, you can never be homeless. And on Sundays, you had Ghanaian people, Ghanaian people, you know, Nigerian people. So that was a time when you could be. Had to have been here, you guys. Let me tell you, when I moved here and I figured this out, it was like such a big aha moment. And his name, Binya Binya, it means the Gullah people, when they say they're from here, they say they've been here. So they're a Binya, and like Travis and myself would be a Kamya. <laughs> How crazy. And the frog was called Binya Binya. Babe. If only I knew. Say it. <laughs> say it. Say it. Say it. No, just this floor, but it's not outside. So. What's your favorite thing so far that you'd like to show us? Okay. Taylor has gone through the whole museum already. <laughs> I love that I can see the water from here. Oh, Taylor, I have to pause here. Oh, wow. The costume is amazing. Yes. Oh, this is gorgeous, Taylor. that Charleston was the number one port for all of the slaves in the Americas. And guess what? Little city is number two. It's a city that I represent. Kingston. Yeah. You could go outside, yeah. So last night, um, two nights ago when we were at the gala, we were, they were talking about how this area, you know, the sharks would feed at the harbor because of all of the lives that were thrown overboard when they came and they had died and all of that. It was just such a sad sight and that's why it was so important for them to place the museum at this same location. These are all names and ages of people who didn't make it. This one says, please touch and you get to feel rice. So we don't take out a lot. the events I'm sure they filled it up but 
it also evaporates. So if you see here, look, it's starting to evaporate right here. So unless they fill it up, it doesn't have the water there. We just finished viewing the museum and I will say it was such a great experience. Um, there's so much that I learned, some things that I already started thinking of recently, but it was really good. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you guys enjoyed the little bit that I showed, but also you want to go ahead and book your experience, your excursion bring your families, bring your children, and so they can get to experience it too. Um, that was a beautiful experience. I'm glad that we actually even had the opportunity to go in early. Um, you know, you could just take your time and go through the experience, even though I would love to go back again, probably several times. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just sit and watch all the different um, media stuff they got on each screen and just sit and get the story. But no, it was great, man. Like, to be in Charleston, to know the history, to be in America all these years, to see the connection with the Caribbean culture, knowing that it's still all our stories. That was a great experience, man. I'm glad I was able to share it with you. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Making it with a man. So this is another weekly vlog and um, we're currently out for Sunday brunch at Ritual, one of our favorite rooftops. Taylor hasn't been here yet, so we've decided to take her. We just left the International African American Museum, but we're also meeting up with a new friend that we met from Barbados. She works for the Bar um, Barbados Tourism Board, and I met her yesterday at the museum at the event. So we decided to take her to brunch. And, um, yeah, she's going to be here shortly. It is so hot. We decided not to go outside, but I'm still hot inside. It's time for a little party. You can have all your drinks upon me. You can have all your drinks on me. See the girls, they're my wine upon me. See the girls, they're my wine upon me. I like the spice in it. She the best. What's the wedges? Well, no, I told you somebody else. Yeah, once I saw that, I was going to lose. Just like that. That's why they pushed me for me off. It's not bacon. It's bacon. It's crab. No, that was a piece. That was a dry tomato. Oh, the potatoes are good. Well, now you always have a friend in Charleston. I do, I do. I'm actually thinking about coming back home. Barbecue on fire, she had me act like the umpire. Dance all around the bonfire. No luck of a mina wire. It's time for a little party.